Okay, hey everybody, welcome back. The next thing is Yara. Usually, you use Yara for analyzing files. You don't usually use it for analyzing packet captures. Now, Yara is the cat's meow, man. I mean, VirusTotal uses it. All the antivirus vendors, McAfee, Symantec, all those guys use it. MITRE and the NSA and all those guys use it. Hands down, Yara is it. Yara has a huge community of people who contribute signatures to it. It's basically a string searching tool. It just looks for all these different strings inside of a binary file. Um, it's got Clam AV signatures that are integrated into it, PEID signatures that are integrated into it. Pretty much everybody has converted all of their malware signatures into Yara format. And now you've got this one tool that is just Quite frankly, it's amazing and surprisingly simple. The tool is just really, really good. But like I said, the problem that you run into with Yara is that it's really good for files. There really aren't too many people who use it for PCAPs. They really use it for files. So for static analysis, Yara is it. And let's talk about Yara PCAP. So there's actually another script that's out there that allows you to read PCAP files pull the HTTP streams out of the PCAP files and then scan that with Yara. So this is actually pretty helpful because we've got the same thing where it might not fire for a Suricata rule, but you've actually got a pretty good chance where it might fire for a Yara rule. So um, we'll pull down Yara PCAP and then we'll pull down the Yara rules. We'll unzip those and then we'll run the indexer for those. And I'll show you what why you have to do that because Yara really is designed to run against one individual file and one individual rule. So if you're going to run against a series of Yara rules, what most people do is they run against index.yar, which has a reference of all of the other Yara files, and then you run your PCAP through that. So shoot, let's do it. Finally done, right? Last one. And let's go grab everything. So git clone, let's pull down that Yara PCAP. Um, git is from GitHub. So there's a repository for this stuff out on the internet and we want to grab this whole repository. Then we pull down the PCAP file. Now here are the Yara rules. We pulled those down and we unzipped them. And now we've jumped into the directory where those Yara rules are. Okay, so as we extracted them, you see it's rules master, then it's malware rules. It's got all those. Then it's got here like anti-debug rules, crypto rules, common vulnerabilities and exposures. These are vulnerabilities, right? We've got those kind of rules, exploit kit rules, right? So for each one of these malicious documents, web shells, mobile malware, packers, there's so many different types of rules. So like we can CD into the packers directory and you've got all these different types of packers. If we jump into the malware directory, you've got all these different types of malwares that these things look for. Let's say you want to look for a really common piece of malware, like maybe poison ivy. And then what you'll see is this rule is super, super simple. So he says, okay, the first thing I'm looking for is I am looking for a portable executable. The rule is going to be poison ivy. Rat is remote access Trojan. The file starts with the meta portion. Meta is just metadata. That's all it is, right? So it's got the description, the author who wrote it, the date, the version. And now you see here, they've got a link to where you can go 
and download a reference that's a reference link for where somebody was talking about how to you know analyze that now the next part after meta is the strings the strings are hey what am i looking for so if i see this sequence of numbers in the file right it's just hex if i see this sequence of numbers in hex then i know that is the poison ivy trojan so you've got the meta metadata you've got the strings what am i looking for and then you've got the condition the condition is here dollar sign a condition is dollar sign a needs to be present and if it's there the rule fires hey that's it so yara rules are super simple so meta this is the data about it it's the explanation the strings here's what i'm looking for in the file and you see that it can be multiple strings and then the condition right if this is true if this is true let me know then the rule will fire Now that we've done that, let's go ahead and let's look at index.yar. Index.yar pulls in all of the files. So he tells you, hey, here's all of the rules that you should pull in. Because like I said, yar is really designed to run one file against one rule. But you can say, you know what, let me run it against index.yar and then he'll grab all the rules. Well, you can see right now I'm in right home joe pcap analysis yara pcap rules master so the easiest thing to do is to run the index gen right that'll build a canoe index file with the correct directory for where i'm at let's go for index gen and then let's build a directory called match and files so I build the index, you see it's generating the index. I jump up, I make a directory called matching files. Now inside of that Yara PCAP, I've got my matching files directory. I've got my suspicious time.pcap directory uh, file. I've got my pcap.py. And now let's go through that stuff. So I'm gonna run Python Yara PCAP against that rules master index.yar file I just created, have all of that run against this pcap, and then have it output to this matching files directory that I just created. Now I'll run it, and now when I run it, you see how he gives me a nasty gram? Hey, TCP flow, not found. Well, on my machine, on my machine, TCP flow is right here user bin tcp flow okay if we grep cat yara we can see in here he's looking for it at user local bin tcp flow whereas on my machine it's at user bin tcp flow so let's edit that Now that we've got that edited, let's run it. Now it's running, he says, okay. And now he's lighting up all the places where he's found things. Okay, found right here, this string, found right here, this string, found right here, not bad. Okay, matching files are written to the matching files folder. So we'll CD in there. And each of these, Right, each of these individual streams, he's like, hey, this stuff matches. So we can read that report.txt file. And then for each one, he's gonna tell you which stream of communication matches what particular rule. This is the process that I go through, right? So I think this is really, really handy. So this is the process that I go through, guys. So for me, this is threat hunting on the wire. If you guys like it, I'll, I'll definitely do some more courses um, and I'll, I'll go a little bit deeper next time if that's what you guys are interested in. Um, 
I can I hope you guys can see I'm really kind of struggling with just how technical to make this material um, I would love to go deeper and you know get nerdier than what we've covered so far because um, this is really kind of just scratching the surface so let's see how the feedback is on this video series and if you want I'll happily go deeper into some more stuff um, specifically like maybe if you want me to do products I can do commercial products Splunk and Alien Vault and Log Rhythm and ArcSight and all that kind of stuff that's easy so if you guys want me to do product nitro and all that that's easy if you want me to do more open source stuff i can if you want me to do scripting with this kind of stuff we can you've got to let me know how deep you want me to go down this rabbit hole and i'd be happy to help you out well i wish you guys all the best um hope to see you again soon guys see you in the next course